Hi there, this is Vicki Ronchetti, Show Dog Prep School. I wanted to do a live stream because I wanted to show you guys. I hope you can see this. This is a knot in my dog's coat. And I'm going to work through this um, knot and get it out and see if I can do so without uh, causing him a lot of discomfort. So when I talk about or our instructors or anybody who's um, promotes the use of positive reinforcement. It, it doesn't mean just like I never say no to dogs or, you know, I just want to, you know, train with treats or something. You know, it means that I'm looking to just interact with my dogs all the time in a way that's mutually beneficial and good for them. So this, if I hope you guys can see this. So there's a fairly and we're, he's in, this is in my bedroom. So this is where he gets normally groomed every night. Every night before I go to sleep, I come in here, I lay out a blanket and I get all this stuff out and I groom him. But if you can see, this is a fairly chunky knot. See, now he's a show dog, so I can't just take scissors or clippers and cut that out if, like I might do if he was um, in the grooming shop. But... Sometimes I will use these, and I use, this is a mat splitter. Now, he's a show dog. Obviously, I don't want to go through a mat, but this will help. But I don't want to cut mat, and this will still hurt. So, it, I, while I've been talking, I've just kind of been picking apart with my fingers. So, one way to do this is to actually wash the dog. Wash the dog, even though it has, a, you know, a knot or two like this, and then condition them really heavily, and then use your pin brush to to brush through that under a warm dryer after you've really conditioned it. That'll sometimes do it. But I'm just kind of picking this apart. He's not going to get groomed until Thursday or Friday. He's got a show this weekend. Um, so I really like this product. So you just want to put something that's a, this is called Matte X. And you just want to use something that is good, you know, it's made for taking mats apart. I've also got this other one by Isla Dogs. It's like a brush spray. So every time I'm brushing him, I don't brush him dry because that'll break the coat. So I just use that to brush through. And that might help some with some knots, but this is kind of aggressive. So I'm going to go in there with this. And I, But you could get lots of different brands of this. It doesn't have to be this kind. But I'm going to really kind of saturate it. And it helps if the dog is, you know real used to being groomed and have this done. So now I've got it pretty saturated and this stuff is like, it's not oily. It, it, it has a, it, it has like a slick feel to it. So, oh wait. Oh, oh, Joan, you love watching other people groom. I do too. If they're nice to the dog, stay there, sweetheart. So he's doing good. I'm going to go ahead and give him a treat because he's just laying there like I asked him to. Good job, buddy. So I picked it apart quite a bit. And this is, you know, a, good, a decent knot that runs hmm, maybe three inches. So it's like long and narrow. And, you know, he was just brushed out yesterday, but he's uh, 11 months old. His coat is changing. So now I'm getting in there and I picked it apart with my fingers now I'm kind of, I hope you guys can see this. I'm going to see if I can turn him some. Oh, hold on, bud. Right there. Let me raise this up just. What? Okay, lay like this. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so here's this nut right here. Can you guys see that? It's right here. So I got it all kind of saturated. Now I'm just with a pin brush, just kind of going through. And if he struggles, then I'm going to put more stuff in and pick apart more. Sometimes just, I don't even put product in there. Just while I'm watching TV, if I feel something, I'll start picking it apart. But I've been wanting to do this video because I could get this knot out by taking my comb, my good comb, and literally just ripping it out. And people do that. But look, it's I can see there's a knot in there. The comb's not going through it. So um, I don't want to just rip knots out of my dogs. I mean, he's really good for grooming because I make it a point of making grooming really pleasant for him. 
And if the grooming is really unpleasant for the dog, that can actually bleed into their show experience. So if the dog, um, you know, sort of doesn't know how he feels about dog shows, um, and maybe he's just kind of getting into the groove of it, but every time he goes to the dog show, he has to get groomed and have knots ripped out of him on the table for an hour before he goes in the ring. He's not going to, he's, you know, that can bleed over into his whole experience. So this is just working out really nicely. I'm just kind of brushing it in all different directions. You can kind of hear the noise the pin brush makes when it gets stuck. Now, when he's uncomfortable, he will get up. So right now he's just voluntarily laying here. Um, or he will get real mouthy with my hand, like he's trying to get me to quit. So see how that's just coming out? There's still a couple little pieces there, but it's still pretty saturated. So I'm kind of just going in and picking through it. And honestly, you know, this does not take longer than to see even that. See how he flinches? You can't see his legs, but if there's like any tangling, especially in these delicate areas, you know, it's really uncomfortable for him. So he'll ask me to stop. So I don't want to make this unpleasant for him. This dog's got a bunch of hair and I'm going to have to groom him for his whole life. Okay, so it's pretty much out. How long have I been recording? Probably not even five minutes. And that was a pretty decent knot. Yeah, we can do your tummy too. This part's not knotted, but since he said go ahead and do it, I'll spray it. So that, that knot now, oh, see there's a little piece there, pick, pick, I can see it. But sometimes it's just, I can pull it out with the pin brush, just working the biggest part of, part of that little knot out. Um, I don't use a slicker on these guys, and there it's out. See, so you got, you saw how big that was. Without a bunch of hair loss, that mats out and it really was not a big deal and it was not painful for him. So that's my goal, is to just um, <clears throat> try and make it a positive and pleasant experience. Like he is not upset right now. He's not being held down. I give him two cookies through the whole thing and um, we got that big mat out. So yeah, try that um, and show people who are ripping mats out of their dog's coat that they can get that out in a way that's uh, minimally uncomfortable for the dog, if uncomfortable at all. Let's see. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check us out, showdogprepschool.com.